Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Faces by Brittany here. And today we're going to do an initial reaction video and it's going to be some goodies from the land of Av. I came across this brand from TikTok. I'm so sick of TikTok selling products to me. And then I'm just a sucker. But I was, I was, I did good. I only ordered six sample sizes. I told y'all this year I was going to order sample sizes instead of purchasing the full size because that's the problem I had last year. I just, it was OD. But I was buying full size products at the Wazoo. So I had already pre-opened the package because I wanted to make sure everything was intact, but I did not smell anything. Now, there is a smell coming from the package, and it smells amazing, but I don't know which one it is. So, um, when I opened the package, I found out they sent me a bonus product. And I'm like, <laughs> not a gift for me. So, yeah, if you're interested in seeing which ones I purchased from Linda A, ah, then just keep on watching. <music> right into it so like i said i ordered six but they sent me a bonus so i have seven perfume oils from the land of ah each one of these were nine dollars and 95 cent each and they are 10 ml's so i do have some little spray cards with me just in case it don't work out and i don't want to be spraying a bunch of oils on me I feel like they are going to work out because the ones I picked, mm, they just sound amazing. So let's just start off with the first one. So first and foremost, this one is Creme Brulee. This is a lot bigger than I thought. When I was looking um, on their TikTok shop, they look like they're about this size. I'm not going to hold you. So when I got this, I was actually happy. You remember the old school YouTube when I used to be like, look. So, I was actually happy to see that there was a larger size than what I thought. So, like I said, this one is called Creme Brulee. Let's see. I like it coming in a sprayer. A, a spray oil is nice. Woo! Oh, wow. Hmm. I want to get creme brulee from this. It smells like something, something fluffy and pink. Mmm. I can see why they named it creme brulee because it's kind of in the background. But when you smell it initially, it smells like almost like a, a bubble gum. Like Hubble Bubble? I'm definitely giving bubblegum vibes, but I smell the creme brulee in the background. Oh. I'm trying to see. Because y'all know I have Escapade Gourmand, but I don't know if I would mix this with Escapade Gourmand. Because this has something like fluffy and pink in it. And it doesn't really remind me of creme brulee. It's pretty, but it doesn't remind me of creme brulee. So, that can be a little deceiving. But it is pretty. I just don't know what I would match with, like pair it with it or where I would wear this under. Because, ooh, you know what? That perfume by Machino Toy called Bubblegum. That will go perfect with this because it's not giving me creme brulee. Mm -mm. It's giving me bubble gum. So, yes, that one, if you have Machino Toy to the bubble gum one, this will go perfect with it. Yes, it would. So, that is creme brulee by the Linda Ah. The next one is called Cupcake Bakery. 
Okay, let's see. I'm hoping it smell how it's supposed to, you know, smell. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this? I know exactly what it smells like. You know how when you're making cupcakes or cake, right? And you're making the batter. And after you add everything you need to add, including the eggs, and you're not technically supposed to eat it because you're eating raw eggs, this is that batter. Vanilla. Vanilla cake batter. Oh, my goodness. My mouth, like I'm salivating. Oh, I'm getting the full. Once I'm done with this, I'm getting the full size. Oh, my. I have never smelled anything. Oh, yeah. Wow. They did that. Oh, that's that is good. Oh, this, oh, girl. Imagine this under Escapade Gourmand. This one, an absolute, absolute dessert. Oh, yeah. That's the one. So that is Cupcake Bakery. So the next one we have is called cake batter so as y'all can see i got i purchased very gourmand scents because it this is the season for gourmand i really like these for this spray i like that applicator and not having to rub it in oh <laughs> this just stopped me in my tracks because I'm stunned. You know what this smell like? Which which one is it? Oh my god, it smell like if you have the Bath and Body Works pecan waffle um like pecan maple waffle spray. You know what? I got a better one for you. Hold on. If you had the pumpkin pecan waffle spray from Bath and Body Works and you love how this smells and you wish it lasts longer, cake batter smells like this. If you had that candle from Alta called Maple Waffle, this is the body oil. This? <sighs> I'm speechless. That's exactly what it smells like. It's a, a waffle with the syrup like the maple syrup is thick it's ambery and it's just spilling down the side of the waffle you got pecans sugar crusted pecans on top of it yep that's what it is linda ah they they got 
something going on over there. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, so when I run out of this, yeah. Uh-huh. This is amazing. Yeah. So that is Cake Batter by the Land of Oz. Ooh. So what we have next is called Glazed Donuts. I hope this one like Glazed Donuts because... You know, the last one didn't give bakery, but it gave pancake waffles. So we're going to see. This, I can't get over the spray. Let's see. I'm like, yep. <laughs> Y'all. It smell like the glazed icing on a donut. And I just ordered the Canvas Beauty Glazed Donut Body Butter. This is going to be amazing. I hope those go together perfectly i'm still waiting for that to come in but if it smells like this that's the only thing i'm gonna need as far as fragrance because if y'all have on canvas beauty um body butters that is a fragrance and then i put a perfect oil on top of it psh, bye it's not as loud and projecting like the other two um, it's more like subtle because icing ain't supposed to be, I guess, loud, but that smells so good. Oh, that smells so good. That is glazed donuts. Next, we have Boardwalk Marshmallow. Someone I follow recommended that i try this one it wasn't one that i was even really checking for but someone told me i i needed this like don't need is a strong word so needing something or someone is crazy so this better work out <laughs> this better work out because don't tell me i need something and i'm like you know what i'm saying Okay, we're gonna see. Cause I feel like I just got one. No, no, I didn't buy anything with marshmallow. Oh, oh. God. This is sexy. I ain't know marshmallow could be sexy. This is sexy. Am I allowed to say that? This reminds me of something from Brown Sugar Babe. Oh. My goodness, y'all, I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting something light, fluffy, not really strong. Because when you think of a marshmallow and it really got no taste, it's fluffy, it's light. This? Okay, whoever recommended this to me, I trust you. This is sexy. This is like it's giving me like a sexy, sexier version of the Born Aroma. This is adding sex appeal to that. Like that fragrance to me is a good like year round fragrance. It don't give sex appeal. If you add this with it. It's giving me sexy. Oh, this is nice.
I feel like if you want to turn one of your fragrances into like a nighttime fragrance, you know how you could turn your makeup look into a nighttime look by adding a little smokiness to it? This isn't smoky, but it has something in it that gives it sexy. Oh, this will go with, ooh. Hold on now. <laughs> Hold on, because this is giving, it will go with Bianco Latte. This will go with Bianco Latte. Because it's giving you like, this kind of like lactonic creaminess to it. It will go with every single vanilla. Oh, let's not talk about the vanilla, girl. Oh, nah. This, this? I was not expecting this. Oh, this is sexy. Boardwalk Marshmallow. Wow. Oh, my. It's intoxicating. Or you know how Love Don't Be Shy has a marshmallow note to it? This just amp up the sexiness of that. Oh, yeah. They are blowing it out of the water. Y'all. Yes. Oh, I'm outdone. I'm outdone. This is Boardwalk Marshmallow. Oh, this is one that I was excited about. So it's called Bakery Air. I'm hoping it gives, like, you know how when you walk into Crumble and it's like, oh, if only my house could smell like this. I'm hoping it give, like, a fresh baked, like, good, like that kind of, like, saltiness, like, croissant kind of. I'm hoping it gives that. So we're going to see. <laughs> and it is I'm out done it is for a minute I thought it was like a little close to um which one is it I thought it was a little close to K-Cup Bakery, but it's not. It's more on the salty, savory side. How did they do that? It's literally bakery air. It's like you can, um, it's like the bread you can smell like the bread in here. I'm really over here. What? Are you serious? It's like a croissant. Whoa. Dang. <laughs> I'm over here looking around like, what can I miss this with? Like, I I feel like if you have um maybe a fragrance that you feel like is a tad too sweet, where it's almost sickening sweet, and you want to scale it back a little bit, or you want to smell like actual baked goods, like bread goods and not donuts good. I don't know how they did that. How do you take the air out the bakery and put it in the oil? How? How did you do that? I didn't know that had an oil to it. <laughs> that is crazy. I don't know if I would want to smell like this all over, 
But I'm going to try mixing it with some things. I'm going to set this to the side and mix it with some stuff. I'm glad I did get the 10 ml. I told y'all I wasn't trying to go ham. But that is interesting. It, it smells just like bakery air. Like, I'm not going to hold you up. That's crazy. Okay. That is bakery air. And the last fragrance, this is the one that um, they sent me as a gift. Oh, I was so excited. So, this one, they wrapped in the, this little paper. And it is called... It's called Cinnamon Sugar Donuts. Why would they do me like that? <laughs> but, of course, we got to get the girls that. We have to give the girls donuts, glazed cinnamon. Okay? So, let's see. That was so nice for them to do. They did not have to do that. But I appreciate it. I'll be back. Girl. The cinnamon. And it's not a cinnamon that's like spicy. It's like, you can tell it's like cinnamon sugar. <laughs> it's in the name. It smells like the cake donuts. Those are my favorite kind of donuts. The cake donuts that's rolled in cinnamon sugar. And it's not a heavy scent. Like, to me, I don't feel like it's loud. Like, it's not overpowering. Powering. Overpowering. But it's light. And it's pretty. And it almost smells like it's like an apple note in the background. Like an apple cinnamon sugar. I think maybe the apple is giving it the lightness because I do smell a fruity note in here. I mean, I'm going to keep this. I'm going to use this one. Oh. Oh, yeah. I kind of smell. Now, st stay with me. I kind of smell Twizzler. I kind of smell Twizzler. I'm not playing. And, like, it's a hint of it, but what are those? Is it the, it's called Red Hot? It's giving me that. As it dry down more, it's giving me that. But it's not, it's still not super spicy like a cinnamon because that sugar is balancing it out. And that apple is adding like a lightness to it. All right. Oh, hey. Okay. So, yeah, those are all the goodies that I purchased from the land of Ah. I hope this video helps. helps. So, maybe if you were in the field of you know, looking for new perfume oils, or if you had some curiosity building um, surrounding the land of Ah, because you came from TikTok like me, going on YouTube, searching the land of Ah, and looking for reviews, then I hope this video helped and give you some insight, maybe to encourage a purchase, child, or maybe you never heard of the land of Ah, and now you got to look into it, because girl, what's tea? So, yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for all my new subbies. Ah, Y'all are showing out. And I really appreciate it. So, until next time, thank you again for watching. Give it a thumbs up. Chat with me below because I love talking to y'all. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.